And a quick reminder today, everybody, to make sure to put any litter in the bins provided. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening Hello, for a game of football to which to we look forward match. immensely. It's hardly Portugal. a surprise that everybody has come here Against in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Nicholas Otamendi. He's a, a fine defender, both in the air and on the ground, and a, a real tough competitor who, who loves a physical duel. He knows how to pick out a pass too, and he'd be looking to get his team moving forward as soon as any opposition attack breaks down. He often likes to step into midfield. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Oh, played right into his path. Joao Felix. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Poor pass that, sloppy. Messi. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Molina. It's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Good pressure, no shortage of purpose here. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Oh, that was expansive and incisive, the type of move to please any coach. There's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side, dogged defence on the other. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Joao Felix. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Joao Felix. Passing nice and... It's Cristiano Ronaldo! The captain delivers! Well, it's so hard to keep someone with his enthusiasm and his energy quiet. Second best will never be accepted in the world he lives in, and the timing of his goal won't be lost on him. It's crucial. 
Yeah, I call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. Cristiano Ronaldo! And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to Please now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Portugal leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Everyone, please welcome our players. So off we go once more. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Joao Felix passes short and sharp. Guerrero. And that was very necessary. Well, it just petered out. No penetration at all, having had a great deal of the ball. Paredes. Taliafico. He's got plenty of space out wide here. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. He's gone down, but the referee just tells the him to get back up again. The match was 71,898. DePaul. What a... Martinez! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And the ball's come loose here. Argentina are definitely going about this the right way. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. Spot on, Peter. Move forward and quickly so. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. De Paul. Joao Felix. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Joao Felix. Christian Chance! And he hits the net! Two up now, and they are cruising! Yeah, the touch before the finish is so often the critical part, and we've just seen an example. The goal score for Portugal after 83 minutes is number seven. Cristiano Ronaldo! Argentina are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Portugal get themselves a two-goal cushion. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. De Paul. And it's Correa. Two added minutes have been Messi. indicated. He's found a way through. And Messi! And 
the keeper passes the test. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Climbs up big! And that is the last effort of the game. Portugal claim victory here, and on balance they were worth it. Cristiano Ronaldo taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Portugal have some very strong runners from midfield, and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that, but this was very impressive the way they cut through the heart of that defence. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening. Just a quick announcement. We would like to inform you that CCTV is now in operation for your safety. What you gotta do?